Let's check out episodes one and two of Link Click. But before we do, you'll probably notice this video looks a little different, maybe a little older. Well, that's because I recorded it a year and a half ago. And uh, since then, it's just been on Patreon. You can actually find a lot of exclusives over on Patreon that just have not been uploaded to YouTube. And if you enjoy the video, then like, comment, and maybe even subscribe to the channel because most of you are not subscribed and we're trying to hit 50,000 by the end of the year, which is possible with your help. Listen, if Link Click performs really well, maybe I watch more Donghua. I would like to. There's a lot of good ones out there. There's a lot of good ones out there. And you can find the full link as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Now, uh, this isn't my first Donghua, as I have seen The King's Avatar Season 1, and I thought it was animated pretty fucking well. And I imagine that this will also be animated pretty well. This is supposed to have a really good story. I'm very intrigued by this. I do want to watch it because anything that can be considered a contender for anime of the year must be a good series. I like that studio animation. That This one had none. Land Studio, no animation. It's just like, this is our logo. Can you put that on there? <laughs> Imagine this is in Mandarin with English subtitles. Okay. Okay. Kind of nice OP. Not like a banger or anything, but it's nice. <laughs> oh. Damn. Vicky game. Hmm. Episode 1, Emma. Yeah, he was about to... <laughs> Love sick for a liar. Ooh, what? He creepy. Oh, what? Mama cares for her. Ooh! What the fuck is that? No! <laughs> Aw, dad's looking out. This is interesting, man. So the one dude goes into the pictures and then the other dude guides him? This is interesting so far. Mmm, this look good, dude. What is this? Oh, is she making her own food now? Oh, this is mama's food. Damn, mama's food look bussin'. Oh, look, his fingers are kind of burned. Oh, 
Aww. His parents separated or? Oh, he did say he was waiting for his dad. Got me a little misty eyed, but no tears. Time to wake up. 8 a.m. If she had to stay up late to do this thing, it's just gonna make him more frustrated. Good animation so far, though. Oh! What the fuck? Do not do it. Just let it be. There's no way the, the fucking computer was that fine. Getting smacked down like that. Oh, cool. Hey, they got arrested. I don't give a fuck. Let's go. Fuck those people, man. In the end, they got arrested. That's better than her just getting a punch off. <clears throat> Probably. I mean, that was their, their chance that they needed. Aw. Oh, what is it? All oh, the egg rolls and stuff? Is it from Mama? Oh, she messaged Mama back? It's gonna cause a butterfly effect, man. Are they coming to visit her? Here come the tears. Oh, is that him? Was he wearing like a wig? No! No! It's kind of hard. Yeah, fuck with this. I fuck with this ED. The OP and but the ED? Okay. But damn, dude. Because of what he did, it caused her to go out there and get caught by this fucking killer. Was he supposed to do that or not? The reply? All right, next. Special seasoning recipe. Nah, bro. I think that she's lying, man. She just wants to steal the recipe so she can fucking leave the other one and steal everything from her. That's what I bet. I do like the fucking <laughs> this shit. I don't I don't know how to dance and shit like that, but it's cool. I remember when I was in high school, I knew some kids that did this whole fucking fucking thing and they did all that shit. They did like the glowy fingers at the raves and shit. I went to a rave like twice. Both times it was weird. Very weird. You see like the the one guy with his backpack on, he pulls out his fucking gloves and he's like, just goes up to like girls doing the fucking shit. They're like, dude, you're fucking weirdo, man. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't mean to insult anybody if that's you. I like how the black haired one actually like cares way more than the white haired one. Or maybe he does care. I don't even know. Oh, she's in that. 
下这个文耀线索。Oh, is that what's going on? She likes her. It's this thing. What the fuck is that? Sprinkling in that stuff. I don't know what that was. Oh my god. Damn, dude, she popped off a little bit. Oh, that looked bussin'. That shit looked bussin'. Oh, she cares about her a lot. They have like a neural link, some sort of connection mentally, so that way they can share their thoughts with one another. Oh. I think that she likes her, bro. Mm. Oh, they've gotten older now. Oh, they're tired, dude. Oh, not seeing hope doesn't mean that there is no hope. I like that. Dive. Oh, wait. She's the one that changed. That's what I said, man. I knew that was going to happen. <clears throat> Back to the beginning. Going to start a new noodle shop. A noodle shop. What's going on? I wouldn't want to give her the damn recipe anyways, man. Friendship between the two of them. What are all these? That's how she does it. Here comes the sadness. Or not, dude. I don't like this lady, dude. She snatched up the whole recipe, man. Why did she get to win in the end, man? That sucks. Ah. Uh. <laughs> They've been at it for a while, man. Look how tired they are. That's why she laughed because she's the one that introduced it. Oh, you can't steal it from her. She's always done it for you. She's literally always wanted to make this for you. Please make up with your best friend. Oh, 
Oh, is she gonna go to visit her family? No, she is visiting her friend! Oh man, I love this shit so much. Dude, two episodes in? I love it. It's good. It's a good series. If you change the Photoshop into a noodle shop. Time to y'all share those noodles, boy. Gonna have a fucking Lady in the Tramp moment. Yo, I like this. I like this series. Now I see why people are saying that this is one of the, the, the best from last year. Now I want to see how every episode connects to an overarching story that would set this apart from the others because so far each episode individually of the first two episodes is really good. The connection between the two characters, the concept that they can enter photos in order to find out information, but they can't interrupt or make um, changes to the past. Otherwise it would change how the future results. And we see that a change was made to the past in the first episode that resulted in the character or the, the woman that they um, possessed? Is possessed the right word? But, but she ended up dying as a result. And I wanna learn more. I hope that the, the killer, the serial killer in that first episode is an overarching theme. And I hope that there is an overarching story through this thing. We know about the um, the, the, the darker haired guy and his family leaving, leaving him or his father being away, you know, him waiting on his father to return. Overall, there are funny moments. There's intrigue in these episodes. The individual stories of each episode, really good and also very sad, but also heartwarming, wholesome. Uh, sometimes the tears are tears of like, oh, this is adorable. Like, I'm so happy to see them come back together um, after some time, like like we saw in the second one. This is, this is definitely a good series and I I'm glad that I decided to pick this up. I, I know that some people have issues with, with watching Donghua because of the Mandarin listening to that instead of listening to Japanese, which is a weird thing to me. It's weird to me in two ways. One, it's weird because like, it doesn't really matter what the other language is that you're hearing. But then two, I almost kind of understand it. Like when I'm listening to it and it's in Mandarin, it does feel different, but I feel like harping on something like that is weird because of how good the story is. It's not about like the sound of, of the language. Like it's about how they, how they display the emotion, you know, how they act. It's the acting that you want to hear. That's good. That's what I like about dubs or subs over dubs is dubs. Like the acting usually doesn't feel quite right. It's not about the mouth flaps or anything like that. It's about the, uh, the original intended emotion that comes out when you watch a subbed anime. And I feel like for the most part, you're getting the same thing here that, that you should be getting. Though, also at the same time, I feel like there's definitely some, some moments where it doesn't feel as oomph, you know? Or I feel like maybe if it was either an English dub or a Japanese dub, that it might be more, it might hit more. I don't know, man. But I, I haven't watched it in a, any other language, so I can't really say for sure. Nonetheless, all I really want to say, Link Click, good series so far. I enjoyed these first two episodes. I can't wait to watch the next week's um, episodes three and four. Yeah, from here, I would love to know what you all thought of this one down in the comments below. Is this something that you enjoyed as well? How high up there did you put this with your anime of the year. Actually, maybe we should say that to the end. I just wanna know what you thought of episodes one and two so far. Did you also cry at any times? Please do leave a comment down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one if you're interested in anime themed content since that's what we make on the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.